Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. So today, Virg, we're going to see what you have coming in in love. I don't want to pull you and your person's energy because that would imply you already have a person. So I'm going to let spirit take the wheel and just see if you have something new coming in or just what's going on. Okay, so what do we have? All right, Virg, so... <laughs> I just saw the Queen of Cups, okay, and the Nine of Wands. So that's spirit telling me that I know you don't want to hear this, Berg, but it's someone that you do know. It's somebody that you actually have a lot of love for. It's someone I think that you became very guarded against. Um, I'm hearing over the span of time, Virgo, okay? Maybe you guys were together for nine months, nine years. Okay, could have been even longer than that. Okay, I feel like you had a sense of rejection from this person, Virgo. You might have felt like they left you out in the cold. I just saw the Five of Pentacles. I feel like, Virgo, you had to figure out, um, I want to say a different strategy or just a different way to get what you want. Okay, and I'm hearing emotionally, not necessarily work-wise. Okay, it could be you could have found a different way to get a job or something wasn't working for you. You had to figure it out. But I'm getting, Virgo, that something emotionally wasn't working for you and you had to figure out how you can make it work for yourself. With judgment here, I feel like it was almost like a surrendering of the spirit to the universe, okay, or to whatever it is you believe in. Okay, Virgo, so let's see what you have coming in in love. Okay, so your overall energy. All right, the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo. Right? Okay, so I could be talking to male or female. Doesn't matter. All right, so you're very focused, Virgo. Right? Very focused overall on how your financial stability is. I think it's just you right now. So I could be tapping to my uh, single Virgos, or I could be tapping into some wives, okay, or husbands. That's what I'm getting to. All right, but for the most part, you're single and you're by yourself, figuring out more ways to make your pentacles okay or, just, or you're just satisfied where you are you're happy or you're really happy with your performance i'm hearing okay so you could have started a new job um you've been doing something that you really wanted to yeah because the ace of pentacles is underneath this so it's just like i feel like you're doing something that you really wanted to do it's like it came out of nowhere maybe and it worked okay or something that you weren't expecting some sort of some sort of divine wish you could have prayed for this and it's like it's finally here so you're kind of just reveling in that feeling okay this definitely has to do with the the universe literally hand handing you something that you've been wanting virgo okay it could be your person wow okay so virgo i like this energy so what's coming in for you we have the fool so this could be some sort of adventure you're thinking about taking or a trip you're thinking about going on, Virgo. Okay, but I feel like you're embarking on something new and this is something you've been wanting to do for a while. You could even be hanging out with friends, doing things for the holidays. All right, I feel like some of you guys might have just got some new clothes and you're trying out styles that you usually wouldn't try. So shout out to you, Virgo, and it looks bomb. Okay, but I'm, I'm loving this energy. I feel like whatever it is, you're not afraid anymore. I'm getting big emphasis on fearlessness, doing it anyway. Okay, yeah, Virgo. Okay, yes. I feel like your readings lately have been like, they've been decent, you know, but as far as like so much celebration energy and how it's feeling, it feels nice, Virgo. So I feel like, again, with friends, going places. I feel like you're really trying to get your mojo back. Like you're trying to feel good about yourself again. You might have, like we've been talking about, been a little bit laid up, been stagnant, feeling like, you know what, I need to get myself together. You're doing those things. You're getting your hair done now. You're getting your haircuts. You're getting your haircuts regularly. You might be starting things, Virgo, that you said that you would start. All right, I'm getting three months ago or three days ago. Big emphasis on you wanting to start this regimen, Virgo, before the new year. Okay, that can only go for some of you. But Virgo, you have something very sincere coming in. All right, and I'm also hearing, Virgo, that you're very serious and passionate about this person that's coming in. You may or may not know them yet, Virgo. Okay, if you don't know them, this is somebody that I feel like you're going to feel passionate toward. It feels new. I like this, Virgo. Yes, with the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this is going to be new communication, Virgo, and it's falling right under the fool. So uh, Virgo, if you haven't been watching your readings lately, especially your calling and love spreads, you need to check those out 
because we got some emphasis on where you might likely be in this energy where you attract this person in and that's you stepping out of your comfort zone some of you guys are doing it by the way you dress some of you guys are, are being more social okay some of you guys are, are mustering up the courage to express yourselves in ways you haven't before okay but whatever this is Virgo, because cups is also is also symbolic of love okay so that's going to be something's going to made be made clear to you all right in the love department okay we have the seven of swords here virgo so i feel like there's something you're trying to get away from in your past maybe a lack of communication or you don't like the way you presented yourself to somebody and you're saying like you know what i don't ever i don't ever even want to have no one that would have me in a state like that again i'm not doing that okay because i'm getting that this is you it's like there is something in you that that told you i can't do this anymore i have to walk away because it was too, it was too much too much bullshit in your past Virg. okay i'm definitely picking up on past energy with that seven of swords okay but again with this newness but there's a page of pentacles here so i feel like Virg, there's something happening in small steps i feel like you really have come into your own i'm hearing and it's paying off Virg. like there's something that you're giving to that's going to give you back much more than you expected. Okay. All right, let's get this full energy. Whoa, let's get this full. The Knight of Pentacles, Virg. This reading is, be I love this reading, Virg. I love this because I really do feel like this is something new. And this is something that you've been really wanting, Virgo. Wow, okay. All right, so the Knight of Pentacles, what I love about the Knight of Pentacles is that they're slow and they're stable. They're not slow because they're bullshitting and because they're in and out. They're slow because they evaluate. They're stable. And Virgo, the placement of these cards, it's like you're leaping right into something that's stable. Something that, I feel like your past relationships have been, have been chaotic. I'm feeling a lot of, um, I'm getting devil energy with your past shit, Virgo. And I'm here in Virgo, like, you don't want no part of what it used to be. All right, some of you guys could have been born on the 17th, okay? Or you could be Leo Virgo Cuspers. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I like this energy, Virgo. Okay, so this person had you. I'm getting, I'm, I heard risk it all. Okay, why you got to risk it, Virgo? Is there somebody that you already deal with or somebody? Ooh. All right, for some of you guys, you guys are still dealing with a past spouse. Okay, those are those are for you guys who are married, all right? But if you guys are not married and you are single, Virgo, I feel like you're soon going to be celebrating that some real stability is here. You have an emperor, and this has not always come out. So to attract an emperor-like energy, Virgo, is just going to show that you are... Like, when we saw a judgment, there's a, some serious renewed energy. You could be also born on... The, on um, on the 12th i'm hearing but there's some serious renewed energy with you virgo and i feel like that's what's helping you align and i think you know that right like i feel like you're feeling yourself more i'm, I'm tapping into some virgos who you might have just got like a new perfume body spray um for my men you might have got a new cologne or something that just made you feel sexy you did something recently that made you feel sexy and your aura is just so it's just virgo it's just magnetic and i and that comes up in your reading a lot with your magnetism. Yeah, very. I feel like I feel like you're gonna be celebrating this. Okay, what's this Knight of Cups here, Spirit? Why is this Knight of Cups here for what's coming in for the Virgo? Why is this Knight of Cups here? Oh wow! All right, so the Six of Swords, Virgo. I feel like mentally. It took you a long time to get to a place of calm, okay? I'm, I'm hearing like calm, cool waters. You might like to listen to the raindrop, okay? Or you listen to like those sounds on YouTube of like water, rainforest, rain, something like that. But it took you a really long time to get to that up to that place, Virgo, and you've become very protective over that. We've seen that repetitively in your readings. But here, Virgo, the sincerity from your person is going to allow you to go to a calmer place mentally, Virgo. You're not going to have to question this person. And remember, we saw the Ace of Swords come out, all right? Right under the Fool, right? This is a this is a decision you're making, a leap you're choosing to take. And it looks like a good one from the spread, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles here, because you're leaping right into stability. And then the Emperor shows up, Virgo. 
Male or female does not matter. Empress. Okay, because I feel like Virgo in your past, again, like with this level of chaos, I'm just, I'm just hearing straight chaos with your mental, but you're not allowing that to affect you. You're just not. There's sometimes I feel like it brings you in. It makes you go back and forth, especially if you're into like uh, Mercury retrograde and the phases and cycles with you and somebody that you're connected to, Virg, because I feel like you do bounce back sometimes and you get in your feelings about them. But for the most part, you've really like taken the reins on your life. So congratulations to you, Virgo. I know that took a lot of strength. Okay, I'm seeing the strength card in my head. All right, Virgo, but again, you're not going to have to worry about how the, I, all right, so straight up, anybody who's really fucking with you, like they say, that leaves no room for confusion. If I have to question it, if I am confused, that means no, period. I don't need closure, okay? I'm tapping into Virgo, like you don't need no closure, you don't have to go in and ask why this, why that. The only reason why you do get in your feelings is because you think about the time that you guys might have had, all right, in your past. There was something emotionally that fucked you up, all right? It could have been some third-party energy from your past relationship or something like that. But with this person, there's no confusion. So you know it's a go. Like, I'm, I'm seeing green light. Okay, you could have some sort of neon lights in your, in your room, Virgo. Okay, I'm getting dancer energy. But I love the truth that this person is coming in with. Okay, let's get this Ace of Swords spirit. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at the King of Cups. All right, Virgo. Listen to... All right. So not only is this person an emperor, okay? Because I feel like this could be two people, okay? You could be dealing with a fire sign and a water sign, all right? Specifically in Aries. But I'm getting that this is still the emperor, but in a King of Cups energy, Virgo. Some of you guys could be 55, Okay, thank you, Spirit. But Virgo, the King of Cups is the King of Love. And I feel like that's something that you finally, you're having this epiphany moment that, yes, this does exist. For my male Virgos, it's like, yes, this does exist. I can find a woman that is really emotionally available the way that I need her to be, that understands me, that communicates with me, that understands me. I'm getting like an even a similar mental connection with with the you and this person, Virgo, whoever this person is. And this person could be older than you by four years, four to seven years. OK, but this person is full of love for you. And I think they might make that clear soon, because the interesting part about your reading, Virgo, it's like the Ace of Swords is like new communication, new, new noticings, new newness. And the, to be a king of cups, not a page of cups, but we're not talking about a page. Okay, we're talking about a king. Okay, so it just goes to show that this person's energy became very involved. It became very, I'm just, just straight up, like just gravitating toward you, Virgo. This person went to the king quickly. All right, maybe even six months after knowing this person, like they're really talking to you about their emotions. Six weeks, I'm even hearing. All right, but I feel like this this could be a tough cookie because Emperor, they're not, they're, they're evolved. They're not silly. They're not out here just telling everybody. You need to deserve the emotional capacity of an Emperor, okay? And vice versa, let's be very clear, okay? Because Virgo, I don't think you're opening up to this person either. I don't think you're even aware of this. I think you're just in your own la-la land and then boom, this happens. Okay, let's get the Seven of Swords energy. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So, okay, Virgo, I feel like this is tapping back into your past. Okay, some of you guys could have been born on the 14th, okay, or even met this person when you were really young. But Virgo, I feel like in the past, you were dealing with somebody who was entertaining other options, and it just became super burdensome for you. It was nothing but a burden. Okay, and I feel like that's what you reflect on sometimes. Like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with that. I remember this. Like, you like you don't play about that. Like, this page of swords on the bottom of the deck. Like, you have become, you have cultivated a level of fortitude within yourself to where when someone tries to throw you off balance, you already are on, you already are on the defense. Okay, not in a negative way, but in a protective way. You're being smart about your heart. Okay. Okay, with this page of swords energy, yeah, Virgo, you're not playing. 
So this person, <laughs> this person better come correct, but it looks like they will. It looks like they are. Okay, what's this page of pentacles here, spirit? Okay, we got the five. Oh, wow. We got the five of pentacles and the five of swords. So again, with past energy, Virg. I feel like in the past there was something I'm getting I keep getting called to your past Virgo and how burdensome like this was so fucking heavy Virgo and I felt like you kept giving and giving and kept trying to see the light in this person see the goodness in this person see the purity in this person see the innocence in this person but it's like the more you gave the more depleted you were and you cannot get that off your fucking mind you can't but I'm telling you Virgo this like this how this spread is this person who's coming in, what you're calling in is, is none of that bullshit. It's bringing you clarity. All right. And, and more specifically, clarity on their emotions for you, because I feel like that was the disconnect in your past with whoever you were dealing with. All right. You could have been dealing with the earth sign. All right. I also heard Sagittarius, Cancer, Virgo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, five of wands, five of wands. And I think the something fell, but it was another static key card. But five of wands, arguments, Virgo, petty bullshit. And like arguments that got you absolutely nowhere. Arguments that got you nowhere. It was like after five months, after a certain time, I'm getting like time periods, Virgo. I'm seeing different time periods or different phases, I want to say. Um, it was like different phases or different faces, all right, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, all right? But it was like different phases of this of this union or whatever the situation was, relationship was. It showed you different sides to this person that you just did not like. And you felt like, how can I ever build with this person if this is how it is? We're always arguing and we're arguing about nothing. I try to give and I get nothing from it. And you've become protective over yourself for that, Virgo. And I, I get it. Okay, let's be very clear. Let's not play. All right, let's get some more energy work on the person that's coming in. Ooh, <laughs> I see the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I just love when I pick up the deck and it's already good energy work. Okay, so let's get Virgo's person's energy who's coming in. No, no past energy spirit. <laughs> Please. Virgo's person's energy that's coming. Virg. King of Pentacles. Okay, so not so first of all, Virg, you you might have several options. Okay, because okay, the emperor usually is well off and is able to take care of you, okay? And for my male Virgos, the Empress is usually even she has her own business. She's very well taken care of or has a very good paying job. Okay, but to have the King of Pentacles show up too, it's like this person is the king or the queen of their job. And didn't we see that didn't, weren't your, wasn't your overall energy the queen of pentacles, Virg? So you might be feeling like this is finally a match. All right, I'm getting a very chill energy from this person. And we have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck again, Virg. We have the three of cups here. So that's the three of cups twice. Yeah, Virgo, you're really going to be celebrating something soon, Virg. That's just how this feels. It's like, I feel like you're coming out of a very... Like, not right now, but the, your dark place happened, but you've been in the becoming stage for a minute. But now it's like you're at the very end of the becoming stage and you're like catapulting out of that into something wonderful, Virgo. Let's get more on this person. The world. And this landed right on top of the three cups. You guys saw that. The world, Virgo. So this talks about the completion of cycles. Virgo and opportunities. And this is something that you, Virgo, emphasis on celebration. I don't think like you might not feel it or you might not know it's coming. All right. This could be something that's very complicated for you to understand because you're very complicated. All right. I don't know why I just got that message. But Virgo, it's like you're going to have such a, a satisfaction I'm hearing in life overall. And it's like this person loves to watch you just be happy. I'm Virgo, I'm even hearing like, you wanted your person or sometimes people want people to come in their life and make them happy but it's like this person is literally just an addition to your life and just enjoys watching you be happy because you've cultivated that for yourself virgo oh my god it's, and they just like like they just love to watch you and they just have shit for you 
They like you to sit on their lap. They love talking to you. I'm hearing talking, talking, talking for all hours of the night, Virgo. It's just somebody that you super, the King of Cups again, Virgo. Oh my God. It, but it's just like the community, and again, with the communication, truth, honesty, fast, mo fast motion. Like, I don't think you realize this, Virgo. Okay. I'm hearing three weeks for some of you guys. Something significant could happen in three weeks. Okay. Four of Wands. <laughs> So four of wands and traditional tarot is my halfway to marriage card, okay? But on this tarot deck, the light seers, it kind of connotates more of a cel celebratory energy, Virgo, okay? And some of you guys could be celibate, all right, but not for much longer, okay? <laughs> not for much longer, all right? All right, yeah, Virgo. Yeah. I just, I'm just, honestly, thank you, Spirit, for bringing me to that, the, the fire that I'm hearing, all right, you could also be dealing, this person could be a an air sign, Virgo, but they're very wise. All right, Virgo, but really quick, I'm being back, brought back to the fire energy and the wand energy. This is a very sexual energy that your person feels towards you. Again, the wand energy is at the bottom of the deck. Your person loves to watch you, okay? Like, you know when different people have different little things that they like, different relationships, you see how certain people act. This is the kind of person who likes to watch you when you sleep. This is the kind of person who likes to watch you just do your thing. Just do your, whatever it is you do, whether you get on stage, you speak, they like to see you get dressed in the morning for work. I'm seeing a Virgo getting ready, like your person watch you, like they just love seeing you, Virgo. Like that's just it. They adore you, like you just do it for them. I don't think they would have it any other way. Like if they could make they could draw their person up or draw out their ideal person it's you and i'm hearing they have like you're, you could be dealing with another earth sign virgo if this person hasn't come in yet but there's somebody who's very very calculated very strategic they literally put together each part of their life and you just fit for them okay Virgo. so let's see let me grab this deck and see let's get some messages from your person Virgo. Let's see how they're feeling toward the Virgo when they come in. How does this person feel toward the Virgo when they come in? Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, Virgo. So, okay, I'm getting Gemini energy as well as Piscean energy here, Virgo. Also, I'm getting past energy here with I'm trying to move on, okay? I think this is tapping back into that energy that I was thinking about that I tapped into earlier, Virgo. When we were talking about you still kind of reminiscing sometimes on the past and how you don't want to be hurt again, okay? And I see that you're trying to move on here. And I think that's something that could still be affecting your ability to trust, Okay, I'm hearing like be silly, like you need to laugh a little bit more for those Virgos. And I don't think it's mostly you, it's just some of you guys who are who are not in like the brightest of energies. Okay, because of the past. Okay, but the beautiful thing, Virgo, is that your person is patient. Let's take your time here. And you know they're patient too, Virgo, because this was how they're coming in in the beginning as the Knight of Pentacles. And they end up being the King of Pentacles. Like this person's progression toward you is amazing. Okay, let's get some more energy like they don't want when they meet you it's just like now it's just a matter of time like this it's just a matter of time in this person's mind okay yeah i'm saying like right now okay some of you guys could also be in the nursing field but virgo all right we also have man up woman up like this yes like this person comes in and they know exactly what they need to do virgo this is not somebody who's a bullshitter they come in right away and start building virgo this is also a very phallic card okay let's get some more messages on how this person feels. virgo virgo when i tell you right like this is something you are not anticipating this is something you are not anticipating, Virgo. This is something that's going to happen much quick, much more quickly than you think. Wow. All right. So the interesting thing, this is just a quick side note. Unanswered questions come out, came out in the reverse, right over your confusion in your past, Virg. So it's just more emphasis on how you will not have that with this person. You need to really drop that, Virg. Let it go. And spirit knows that you're trying. They acknowledge that. Yeah, you, you're able to turn the switch on and off sometimes, but it is like a switch. It's something you have to be conscious of. Okay, yeah, very, it was a very toxic past. Okay, I feel like the person, the person always made you initiate first. Okay, 
None of that bullshit here. Like you guys, you and your person's communication is is rampant. You guys talk regularly. Okay. It's no it's no wondering with this person. Let's tap more into this new person spirit. Oh wow. Okay, we have Aquarius here, Virgo. And that makes sense. They could be a big thinker, somebody who really wow. And what did I say? No problem with communication is gonna message you. Virgo. All right, so the sexual chemistry between you two. And you know what, Virgo? The wisdom. Okay, I'm going to have to take this into the extended, Virgo. But I feel like the the wisdom that this person can impart on you, or maybe even you, them, it's almost as, it's like as strong or as wise as a tree. Do you have like a tree tattoo? Because that doesn't make sense. Okay, you could be very much into nature. But this person, Virgo, your sexual encounter, Virgo, <laughs> I'm taking this into the extended. See you there, Virgo.